So for today's video, it is going to be a comparison video. I am comparing a new digital style wheel balancer versus the old way of balancing wheels. So I'm first going to balance it on this, take it off and put it on the digital wheel balancer and see how much a difference there really is between the old way versus the new way. To start off, make sure you have a completely flat surface and at the level, bullseye bubble level is right in the center. And as you can see, our starting position, the bullseye bubble level is right in the center. Okay, so there you can see that it is out and we'll need to put an adjustment so there needs to be weight on this side. So we'll start to put weight on this side to get that in the center. Okay, so it's taken 45 grams of weight to get it right dead in the center. So I'll just bang them on, recheck. And that is now perfect, still right in the center. So what we will do next is put it on the new machine. I have it all set up now, so let's see what the difference is. So, the results, I think, speak for themselves. We have 70 on the outside and 10 on the inside of a difference. So I'm gonna take off them wheel weights again and just spin it up to see what it'll be like if I didn't even put any wheel weights on it. Okay, let's spin it up and see. So, 20 on the outside, five on the inside. If anything, the old side balancing made it worse. In conclusion, what have we learned? We've learned that, unfortunately, the old way is outdated and uh, isn't really a tool that can be useful in the workshop anymore, certainly not here. And the digital wheel balancer is, uh, is far superior. Um, it is something I wanted to do since we got the digital wheel balancer in um, and uh, I enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Uh, I will be posting more videos in the workshop and uh, outside the workshop very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.